I said yesterday night that uh, we have a 50-50 chance to come to a result. I would say that uh, at this very moment we are at 60-65%. Uh, uh, the Polish problem has not been solved. The presidency is uh, actively trying to get uh, this thing from the table. Uh, some of the uh, British so-called red lines uh, are still on the table and so we have uh, to check this. The other point is the reinforcement of the rights of national parliaments and their involvement in the European decision taking. There, I do have the feeling that our Dutch colleagues are not very happy with uh, the uh, proposal of the presidency as far as it is reflected in the uh, uh, draft amended and they are trying, as it seems, to uh, reinforce uh, the role of national uh, parliaments, there we have to be very careful because this should in, in no way harm the right and the monopoly of initiative of the European Commission. We have uh, changed the name of the uh, foreign minister, so in fact nobody will understand uh, what this is about. Simplified treaty, and um, we didn't discuss in detail the general architecture of European foreign and security policy as far as the institutional framework, uh, external service and all these things are concerned. This will be done later this night. And what is the name of the foreign minister? The name is uh, High Representative of the European Union for Foreign and Security Policy. What is important? Nine? No, not really. We, had, we did add of the, union, of the European Union. And this reflects the idea that uh, the competence which are with the Commission and with the Council are now uh, in one hand, whereas for the time being they are in two hands because they are split between the Commission and the Council.